Introducing Gucci's newest scent. Guy on the bus who smells like ramen with hints of salt, plastic, and dollar store deodorant. And now, a montage of random clips that make no sense, but our intern paid for a one minute ad slot. Riley, you're fired. Me running in my apartment. Me tripping on a dried up rat because our heater's on and it's New York City. Me drinking from my water bottle. Me realizing my name's not Kira. Me at my roommate's funeral because I accidentally pushed him out the window when I was in a morph suit and couldn't see. Me wearing Q-tips as headphones because I can't afford AirPods. Me cooking pasta and wondering why it's taking so long. One of my rat mates yelling at me in French and me yelling back at them. Guy on the bus who smells like ramen only sold at Nordstrom Rack next to the Uggs so that are actually live gerbils we tasered to stay still. Introducing Apple's newest innovation, the iPhone 57 XR. Sleek, sensational, and three smurfs tall. Designed for any and all languages, including English, Hello. French, Ratatouille. and even <coughs> Dolphin. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Screen quality is so HD, you believe your past ancestors are really there with you. Grandma, I thought you died when your hair got caught in an escalator. <coughs> well... Spirit Halloween wig looks good on you. Side effects of using the iPhone 57 XR include death, electrocution so intense to see a vision of Dua Lipa's leg asking for the manager at an Arby's because her roast beef sandwich didn't come in a lettuce wrap, the turkey stuffing you instead of the other way around, bath and body work suing you because you used two free sample pumps of Japanese cherry blossom lotion instead of one, and dying. Again, no suing please. The iPhone 57 XR. Tea cleans up all the messes in your life, like grapes, spilled yogurt, in the memory of the time you held that random man's hand when you were five because you thought it was your dad. They were both bald. Hello, I'm Millie Bobby Brown from hit shows like Stranger Things and Cafeteria Tantrum, where I played the lead in a true story of a girl who ate a yogurt tube in the school cafeteria, but she was lactose intolerant. Also, the diarrhea in that bathtub scene was completely CGI. Legally, you need to say this part, Millie. Oh, wait. Oh. You're the last part. I am called Pouncy because it's soft, durable, and it helped me get rid of that stain from the Kids' Choice Awards when they got slimed after winning Best Actress covered in CGI diarrhea in the back of a school dorm. Uh, Twelve girls were nominated. Pouncy sold only in select vending machines outside Walmart. Introducing Gillette's newest razor, Beaver Be Gone. People used to always mistake me for a British ferret, and I hated it! Well, that's kind of a lie. I did enjoy kids always smiling at me. And I now have a recurring role on Euphoria as a ferret who finds Zendaya in a bathtub after she overdoses on melatonin gummies. But now that I'm hairless, I feel so much lighter! Beaver Be Gone comes in a pack of three razors, ranging from weakest to strongest. Safety scissors, a fork, and then a knife for those pesky little hairs. <laughs> Shout out to her CGI guy, Daryl. Side effects of Beaver Be Gone include decapitation, a constant craving for Olive Garden breadsticks, being mistaken for a mole rat, and having to live in a cage in PetSmart for 12 years, your cage mate being a homophobic skinny pig, a bee stinging your pimple, falling off Space Mountain, Marvel casting you as the lead in a new superhero movie about a man who eats a frog and grows a really long tongue, the movie getting a negative 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, a squash. You and Rihanna getting in a Twitter war, and James Charles pouring you on his face because he thinks you're makeup remover. Beaver Be Gone. Only sold in Uniqlo, and that dispenser machine in public washrooms that usually dispense gum. Hello, I'm Ari Styles, a real Grammarly user. Oh wait, sorry guys, was more British? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hello mate, I'm Ari Styles. Fancy a cup of tea? Okay, I feel like was that? Yeah, okay, I definitely felt more like authentic. Since I'm a British living in America, I use Grammarly to help me talk like an American. So instead of saying pip pip good morning to ya to my neighbours, Grammarly told me to say nothing, keep my head down, and be weary of fallen Chick-fil-A nuggets. And Grammarly comes with more than one accent. Hey guys, I'm, sli I'm slipping. There's the country accent, Little Nas X, the New Yorker accent, Cream Cheese Bagel, and the Los Angeles accent, James Charles. What? Oh, we can't swear? Okay. You're gonna... Okay. James... Speaking of swearing, if you insert the chip that was mailed to you into your throat, and if you wake up from the 10 to 75 minute coma, you will have access to Grammarly's exclusive collection of swear words that will autocorrect your voice to best suit who you're talking to in present time. Holy, Ellen is generous. Oh, you like that one 50-year-old mom? Grammarly. Alright, pip-pip guys, I'm out.
Is your skin so dry, Google Maps registers it as the Sahara Desert? Or are you so bitter that whenever you walk into a 7-Eleven, an employee yells at you to get back to the counter because they think you're coffee? That last one isn't related as much. But try Javino, like a vino, but cheaper and needs to be refrigerated. Javino has made my skin feel so smooth. I just got hired at my dream job, a mannequin in the Zara display case. <laughs> Side effects of Javino include dryness, death, your great-grandfather who was a Scientologist waking up from the dead and cursing your family with the Lord Zarb Queen's prophecy of 12 million Saturn starships, torp bars, whatever that means. Your toes turning into Cheetos, getting stage fright at your school talent show, and the only word you can say is testito. Your grandma getting you an iPhone case for Christmas, but you have a Samsung, so you throw your grandma off the balcony in your sleep. Her coming back to life as a ring pop, cherry. Christmas being canceled this year because Santa forgot to set in a line, getting a rash that looks like the McDonald's logo, so just an M. Javino, sold only in the produce aisle of Chuck E. Cheese, so nowhere. Let's be honest, Gen Z. We're busy. Posting an Instagram photo and having to check how many likes it has every 11 minutes. And having to socialize with your Uber Eats delivery guys. If you didn't get your note when you said, Just leave that door! Green heart emoji! Life can get exhausting. And that's why I use L'Oreal by Neutrogena. Proven to keep your hair greasy for 10 times longer than the leading shampoo brands. Because grease is back. Or try the new extra greasy hair formula. L'Oreal by Neutrogena by Papa John's. That's made entirely out of the leftover grease from Papa John's garlic knots. L'Oreal by Neutrogena has not only made my hair nicer and greasier, but it also helped me land a role on Euphoria as homeless boy in sauna who has wet hair next to Zendaya. I have my first IMDb credit. Well, <laughs> second, if you count me playing the lead lemur in Madagascar Jr. Side effects of L'Oreal by Neutrogena and L'Oreal by Neutrogena by Papa John's include going bald, forehead acne, the garlic not oil falling into your eyes and causing you to see only in thermal vision. Your rich aunt coming over unexpectedly and having to admit that your neighbors are not the Hadiths. And Olive Garden casting you in their off-Broadway musical as the lead breadstick, beating out Ben Platt for the role. And crying marinara sauce. L'Oreal by Neutrogena. Sold only at the Dollar Shack. Day one of using Simply Guitar. Day two of using Simply Guitar. My hand. Unlike giving a fire hydrant a $100 bill because I thought it was a homeless person and pushing my roommate off the balcony because I thought he was an intruder. So this is where he fell. I couldn't find a photo of him, so I just found this guy online, but they have similar features. I don't regret getting Simply Guitar because there are a ton of free songs to learn, like emo rock song too. The knife you put into my back is a swan seeking revenge. I threw you off a balcony. Camila Cabello, knock off 12. Savannah, na na. I see a giraffe, cause I'm in the Savannah, na na. And Kids French Song 11. Chills. Simply Guitar. My skin went from this to this. And yours can too, using Coté Boujon by Neutrogena. Hi. I'm Cole Sprout, lead actor of hit TV shows like Sweet Life of Mac and Brody and its spin-off show Sweet Life on Tractor, an educational kids show about the process of killing animals for the meat industry. We got half a season. I promote Christy Bison because although side effects include skin shedding and believing in the dolphin from Dolphin Tail, my skin has never looked better. Christy Bison sold only in Target, right beside that mannequin with a tail because that worker messed up. Pregnancy cravings could be the worst. I want a pickle. I want ice cream. I want my husband to stop judging me for that one time I ate the crock pot into the stuff in the crock pot. So I was starving and I couldn't wait the hour and a half for the stew inside to finish cooking. Like it was literally one time. That's why I eat Taco Bell's cheesy taco. Made with 50% taco and 100% made in the same factory as Samsung phones. <gasps> a free SIM card? Or try Taco Bell's newest menu item. The Cheeto Gordita Senorita Camila Cabello Crunch. Mm -hmm. Wait. You're supposed to eat the bag, right? Nope. Side effects of Cheeto Gordita Senorita Camila Cabello Crunch include chest pain, heart palpitations, your heart becoming a Disneyland animatronic, Debbie Ryan asking you to marry her at a 7-Eleven, the ring being an extra large big golf cup, your dad divorcing your mom and marrying a flamingo in Texas because everything's legal there, your froyo eating you instead of the other way around, your rich aunt turning into a gummy bear and never allowing yourself to eat a gummy bear ever again because just in case, do not eat at Taco Bell if allergic to shrimp, small rodents, and urinal cakes in the shape of taco shells. Taco Bell. 